Hey guys, welcome back to Hellblade. Last time we defeated Sir, and now we're moving on to Velraven, the uh, person of uh, illusion. So the checkpoint, we already saw a tiny bit of this, but the save checkpoint was behind us. This looks like a little fighting arena. You think we're gonna have to fight guys here? I pressed the wrong button. That went pretty well. <laughs> nice. The Northmen will not stop her. She will find what she's looking for. Yeah, you can't stop this. I hope. <laughs> Should I focus on these things that are glowing? To break the seal, align the ravens with the mark of Valraven. to go up. I don't think I can go up, can I? Um. 
I don't see any ravens. I see feathers and I see skulls. I don't see ravens. I can't look up very high. And I can't get these glowing pieces to line up uh, from down here. I have to get on top of this wall. Uh, it's gonna be from this way somewhere. Is that not close enough? There. Something's shifting. Something's happening. Something's huge shifting. Can you feel it? I can feel it because there's people whispering in my ear about it. You definitely have to play this game with headphones. I cannot imagine that it would be nearly as good if you are not wearing headphones. Seals above us. Let's just get to the door then. Another gate. Another gate. <laughs> you know what to do. Stay I do know what to do. It's not safe. Don't listen to them. Listen, listen, don't. To break the seal, align the ravens with the mark of Valraven. Why is one of them saying don't listen? So cool. Uh, do I need to go this way first? Challenge me. <laughs> I say it's a little early to be fighting him, right? We gotta finish this. There's eyes in the trees. Last winter, 
before the tragedy. She journeyed into the wilds of her native land, living off of berries, roots, and rabbits. It's not uncommon, you see. We call such a person a gelt. Some, like truth, become gelt in search of penance. Others, like Senua, departure curse. Those who make it back are forever changed. Let's go. Where is he? This goes back to the beginning. Oh, there's stairs. Well, what what is this way? Is this where they're saying he is? Oh my god, he's on top of the thing. <sighs> There's stairs over there too. on the stairs where where does that go can you jump across those rocks i want to do that first oh shit i'm not giving up i want to check something out Okay, so we can come over here, but we are stuck. Okay. I checked. Now we can go back. Nothing else appeared over on that beam, it's though, right? Dark magic draws her closer. It's not. He's helping her. It's not him. It's a trick. She's doing it on her own. He's not tricking her. It's magic. It's an illusion. It's magic. It's an illusion. He's tricking her. He's not tricking her. I think we have to go around this way.
their eyes everywhere. That's so cool. I would be saving every five seconds if this game let me. You'd see me quick saving every five seconds. We picture fear, and we think of a shadow in the woods, a creature in the night. If only it were that simple. The worst kind comes without a warning, a deep and primal signal from within. A reminder that just because you cannot see the threat, it doesn't mean that it's not already here. She can't go in there. Baraven, he's there. Is that's gonna be our way back after the boss fight? Great, so we're there already. Okay. Damn it, dodge! This guy was really tough for me last time. I really had to use the focus. Behind you! Just dodge roll to the side, right? I think that we probably have to bait these guys into moving before attacking them successfully. It's nearly over. Finish it. She's ready. You are ready. Oh god. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. <laughs> She's hurt. She won't make it. Fuck those shield men. Fuck you too. You and your mace. Fuck you guys. And your fucking shields. Oh, this is the focus thing is timed. I gotta start like Remembering that it's timed. I don't have to hold the button down. Oh. I can go this way. The Northmen say that Odin and his brothers killed Ymir and that the world of man was formed from his corpse. They made his bones into stone, and his flesh into earth, and his blood into the salt sea. They set his skull to be the bowl of the sky, with his brains for clouds. Odin and his brothers caught the sparks flying from Muspel, and made them into stars. And to protect the new world from the giants, they used Ymir's great curving eyebrows as walls. Awesome. I'm assuming that after every fight, the damage that you take resets. Oh, this is the door we tried to go through, isn't it? Do you know what it's like to leave everything behind? Your home? Loved ones? To head deep into the wilds? Perhaps never We've been to here. Senua does. 
Because when darkness speaks, it changes everything. Turning home into a foreign land and loved ones into strangers. Exile makes sense when you realize that you were never really home in the first place. Where was, where did that bridge go? Over there. Uh, <laughs> hmm. Okay, this is a different area from the last one. It just kind of feels very similar. So that that was not the boss area back there. Calm down, guys. We got this. This reminds me of some the forest. Which forest? Forest in the wilds. The wilds. This bridge is down now. She went to the wilds a long time ago. That gate. She wanted to fight her own darkness. So last. Winter sometimes sent her wind into the wilds because there was a tragedy, or af before the tragedy. What was the tragedy? We don't quite know yet. She lost Dillian. So she went to the wilds and then something happened where she lost Dillian. I guess. Okay, we gotta get back over there. This is very cool. The the changing doorways and such Wait to where we can make any of those symbols yet. Let me unlock this. So Senua um, has some kind of psychosis. Oh my god, I thought I, thought I was going to take fall damage. And she grew up in a time where there wasn't, uh, you know, like scientific research or support for stuff like that. So of course she thought her psychosis could infect people around her. I don't know about, of course, but I guess... Can I, can I interact with this rope? No. Okay, so we gotta get up there.
or, or make it so that there is a bridge somehow. We can't make the symbols from here, we gotta get over there. So there are stairs leading to that part right there. I can jump here, but I don't think I can make it that far, you know? Like to this beam. The fact that I can fall down here I think is a little weird. Like, you can't fall down this way, I can't go this way. I cannot go this way. <laughs> But I don't think I can jump. So how do I get over there? Just climb, climb the stones. <laughs> now is this where I came from down here? Uh, no, this looks different. Okay, stop crouching. <laughs> the Northmen say you must sacrifice in order to receive. They tell how the runes were revealed to Odin only in sacrifice. He hung himself from the world tree and he stabbed himself with a spear, and he dedicated the sacrifice to himself. For nine nights he hung on the tree without food or drink, and at last he saw the runes below him. He gave a cry, and gathered them in his mind and learnt them. Then he fell from the tree. Okay. Um... There we go. I'm gonna keep looking for gates so that maybe I can make a bridge or something appear there. So like this. Um, I think I can just get over there. Yeah. Or was that what made this bridge appear? No, I pushed this one down. And the voice is saying things like, it's all your fault. It doesn't hit as hard without me really knowing what happened. Like if I had Senua's backstory, maybe um, I would feel those pangs of guilt or something. But I don't, like I've been saying, I, I only have pieces, bits and pieces of her story. Got rid of so many of those symbols. The ravens. The ravens. They're gone. They're gone. No, half of them have gone. They've gone. Some are still there. But where? Some are still there. No, no. The ravens helping. He's no. not, it's not helping. helping. It's a trick. Quiet. Quiet. Out in the wild. In the cold winter woods. Where have they gone? She no longer felt fit for this world. She almost gave in to the darkness. I get down. But she remembered Dillian's words. She remembered her promise. Okay. She so to fight on and kill that which had become part of her. So that flashback scene with her talking to Dillian was her deciding to go into the wilds because she wanted to kill the part of her that was darkness because she was afraid it would spread to him. But we don't quite know what happened out there. I guess that's something that we're learning now. She 
had a rough fucking time of it. Thought about killing herself. Didn't, maybe. But something happened when she came back. No, Druth, Druth saved her out in the wilds for that venture. So what happened when she came back? And what happened to Dillian? Why is he gone? Why is he dead? We need to get up here next. different. Oh, that beam. back. I was so naive to think she could banish it on her own. The further she saw into the darkness, the more she struggled to see anything at all. And the glow, the smallest hints of shape, sound, or thought, grew in strength until they consumed her whole. Before she knew it, Darkness had her in its claws. So where haven't I been? Well, actually, those three glowing pieces are probably what we're supposed to use to um, make the door go, right? such thing as victory when it comes to the darkness. It's like it doesn't want to kill her. Yet. Oh lord. Uh, the blurring effect I is getting like time. more and more pronounced. Only when she is at her weakest will it strike to kill. Will she find Dillian before her time comes? Ready. I'm ready. Let's do this. Well, Robin, face me. Dude. Can I save now, please? <laughs> Dude, that was so freaking cool. Oh my god. There's gates around the arena? Oh dear. I 
don't I hope I don't have to like fight him while <laughs> doing like going to gates and stuff. I hope I just have to like do one to make him appear. What did that do? This one isn't lit. This one isn't lit. So it's not going to do anything. There's like a nest in the trees. This is amazing. There's kind of a glow over here. It's kind of greenish. It's not like the like the gates. Oh, oh, I I got to do the door first. Silly me. Thank you, Druth. Thank you for that vote of confidence. Okay. I am nervous. Speak to me, Druth. Tell me a story. Senua, listen. I will tell you the tale of a man called Finden. The Northmen captured Finland's sister, and his father sent him to pay for her release. But they took his gold, put him in chains, and held him for a day and a night without food or water. Then they released him. I don't know why. Upon his return, his father's enemies in Erin set fire to his home. His father burnt to death, and his brother was killed. But he escaped with sorrow in his heart. His father's enemies offered redress for his loss and invited him to a feast. It was at a hall near the sea. When he went there, they betrayed him to the Northmen, who enslaved him and took him to hell. Jeez. Six years later, his slave masters landed on the shores of Orkney, burning all before them. And into that fire, Findon made his escape. What was Findon? burnt away that day but from the flames a new man stepped forward and Druth was born Druth the man that I am now and though Findon never set eyes on his dear sister again I Druth have found you Senua Goddamn right. Home before these dark times. Uh, go down. Just jump. Come on. I've fallen farther than this. Oh. I really don't want to fail Druth. I really want to get this done. Like, I don't even know anything about Dillian, except that he made me promise to return to him. Like... Wait, why did I need that... that bridge? I can't go this way. What was the what was the point of that? What was the point of that? What 
Oh, okay, yeah. Why why do I need to put that bridge down? This just makes this uh, beam appear and disappear, I think. I don't know that it matters what to me whether that's down or not. The beam itself, but the bridge is down, so... Okay. I need to get to the nest, I feel like. But there's all sorts of branches in my way. Yeah, uh, that's, I need to get over there to that branch and walk across it, but there's got to be a way to make those branches disappear, and that's probably something else that this gate does. We have to go through it a second time, maybe. So we have the beam disappear. Oh, there's a new branch. There's a different branch. Okay. I am so nervous. Rokas, the gate is open. Open. It's darkness. I know it from the wilds. It's coming back for me. well in the wilds. It never does. You think you can overcome the darkness, make sense of it, and once relief settles in, strong solid nowhere, throwing you helplessly back into the maelstrom, drowning the mind in fear, deeper, deeper, dragging you down so far into the void that maybe this time. There is no coming back. Help me. But there, Help. in the darkness, Senua. And she remembered what he told her. Hear me. Help. Reach out to me. Help. Senua. Take my iron mirror. Look into it. For it is a window into the underworld. Within, you will see the face of the darkness that you fear. And if you focus. Like I have taught you to, you will also see that as much as the darkness has you trapped within its veil, it too is trapped within yours. Is an ant Focus. eating me? Focus! Focus! A raven monster. <laughs> Well, that started off great. Oh dear. I didn't land a single hit on him yet.
Ugh, I love the movements and the fighting in this game. It looks so freaking good. Like, the way that your heavy attacks and swift attacks... Oh, fuck. Uh, like, flow together sometimes, it's amazing. Round of Northmen, hopefully, just Find one. God. And the way that your moves sometimes flow with the evasion. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Just standing there. <clears throat> Shit. Shit. to the gate to Helheim. Hold it in your mind's eye. With every battle, the darkness grows stronger. Every victory bringing her closer to defeat. Unfair, isn't it? In those dark winter nights in the wilds, there were times when she considered letting go. If it weren't for truth, a chance encounter in the wilds, she would not have heard his stories of the Northmen. And she would not have this chance to find Dillian's soul. I'm coming. I still hear you. Master of Illusion, defeat Valraven. I'm so glad we did this second. I'm pretty sure you had the option of choosing Sirt or Valraven, whichever one to do first. That was so satisfying, hearing Senua say, like, you have no power here, basically. Realizing what happened to her in the, when she was young, in the, wind, in the wilds. She would lay in the grass and stare at the clouds. That was so powerful. Elusive. Shifting faces. After a while, she could see the faces everywhere. In the trees. The mountains. The caves. Like I feel like with Cert we were we were scared. We were beat down, there was fire everywhere. And here it was illusion, but like that's something that Sonoa isn't really a stranger to, and she was able to confront it and be like, you will listen to me now. I do. Once you can see into the underworld, the underworld and all the souls within it will see you. Don't 
be afraid when they speak to you. I will always be here to guide you. Did you see her? That was her mother, Galina. She was a priestess. A healer. She taught Senua to see the weave that binds the world together. And it was beautiful. It was a time before the darkness. But when it did come, it first came for her mother. So Galena still sees her face from time to time. Had the same psychosis, maybe? I don't know if psychosis is even the right word. I'm this I is not my wheelhouse. She misses her so much. But I mean it maybe I guess I don't even know if such things are hereditary. But maybe they are. Like I said, this is not my this is not my area of expertise. Uh, psychological illnesses, mental illnesses. And I feel like it's such a delicate matter that even if you are an expert or if you have some passing knowledge about it, you still have to be really careful about how you talk about it. You know, really make sure that you've got it right. So. With the mark of Valraven and the mark of Sirt, you may cross the bridge over the river of knives to Helheim. Great. I'm going to stop right here and take a break and we're going to come back and we're going to open this door next time. <laughs> That was that was so good. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for what comes next. <laughs>